so remember we did that video about our few i got my first strike on youtube been on youtube for what 16 years 16 years and i had never gotten a strike 16 or 14 14 i'm gonna talk about 14 yeah 14 going on 15 15 years and I've been on this channel, uh, this, this for so long. And for me to get a strike for what they deemed was medical misinformation. So of course you can go watch that previous video. If you want full perspective, however, um, I'm going to just fly through it. The timeline, I did a video talking about, uh, what was it titled? I believe it was titled. Let me see if I can find it, uh, real quick, but it was titled like the hypocrisy of no fraud, heroism, and fake apocalypse survivals. And I went through the dramatism that people have when it comes to the virus and how, you know, looking at like these numbers and I was looking through statistics and I was rattling off all these statistics and they gave me that strike for medical misinformation. And I got the run around, went to the chat, uh, you know, the creators chat, I'm reaching out to multiple people. They're saying, well, you know, they gave you a strike. We'll look into it. I got in contact with one. It was said, okay, if you really, really feel that you didn't do this, we're going to have to move this over to email and get the internal team involved. Got the internal team involved. The internal team, uh, there was that post that I showed you guys. I posted on YouTube uh, as well, uh, Twitter and you know, my community wall. And I dis discussed how they had literally was like, all right, we can't give you specifics, but rest assured, we believe that you violated the community standards when it comes to medical misinformation. So I had been talking about four or five people. So I started raising all kinds of hell, right? Doing stuff in the background, uh, but also raising hell publicly. And look what happened. Um, it's 1.53 PM right now. This was sent at 120, 1.28. Apologies for the delay. We've reviewed the video and confirm that it doesn't violate our community guidelines. It should be up and running. Let us know if you see otherwise. <laughs> so here we are. The strike has been lifted. The strike has been lifted as of 30 minutes ago. The strike has been lifted in the video. It is, it is back live. So not only did they take the strike away, the video is now live. You can see it. The video is monetized too. It's not only now live, it's monetized. <laughs> Cause I didn't violate any freaking stupid medical misinformation. That never happened. That was never a thing. It never happened. And I've been making my case to these weirdos, but that's what happens. And this is the takeaway from it because nothing changes as far as what I'm going to be doing. I worry that there are other channels that are smaller than mine. And this is what I told YouTube in response. Thank you. Because there was some purely supreme ultimate reviewer that was like, no, you all idiots that have been reviewing this got it all wrong. Okay. Like there was nothing here that was violated any sort of medical misinformation. He has the statistics on his side. This is literally confirmed by the WHO, the people that we tell them to listen to. So some guy with authority was like, you idiots, you're being stupid. Perfect. Now, my thing is. I had to raise hell and I did. I raised all kinds of hell because that was bull crap. And I think these guys expect the people that initially will medical misinformation, that individual who pushes whatever stupid button and he's like, bam, they think they could get away with it because they expect people not to fight it back. But I was like, hell no, I ain't letting this, I ain't letting, I ain't letting this go. Reaching out to contacts like, Hey, y'all need to fix this. But I, yeah, while I appreciate that ultimate supreme reviewer who was able to have the more authority to say, y'all, all five, six people that I talked to were wrong. 
he was not he did not spread any medical misinformation. It did not violate our community standards. I fear that other people though don't have that luxury. And that's what sucks. As I raised hell, I have the following as well. And people would tag team YouTube constantly say, hey man, you need to fix this, fix this, fix this. And it took them a while, right? Because my initial, that video came out on the 20th. So it was almost a month, three weeks, three weeks total. So a week from a month. And they fixed it, but it took them a minute. And I fear that other channels and other people that are getting hit with the same. I don't know if that's happening. I don't know if this is a unique thing. I know people get strikes all the time, but mine was specific for medical misinformation. And I don't know if other people are getting those and they're not able to fight it. They can't raise hell like I can. They can't raise hell. They can't uh, fight that back. And they just have to sit up there and lose that channel. I, again, I'm not going to sit there and be like, that's happening. That is a worry of mine, but I can't confirm that it's happening. Cause to be fair, I don't know anybody that's been, I've obviously know people that have been taken down, you know, taken off of YouTube. I know plenty of people that's happened to, but I don't know anybody that's been specifically struck specifically. No, I know we've had videos removed. Hell, I even had that one video removed from Dr. Erickson, but I didn't get a strike for it. I don't know anybody personally that has gotten strikes and gotten taken down for the medical misinformation. So I can't confirm it, but I worry that that is happening to people that are smaller channels than me and that stuff cannot be fought by them. And that's what I hope and YouTube needs to work on. If they are going to stay afloat as all of these alternatives continue to come up, they have to fix that like process. That process is broken. The process of, okay, we can derail someone's channel that they worked on, be loose with what they did. Don't give them any specifics and have some old idiot that we hired over at Sil or wherever the Google headquarters is that's over there pushing buttons, telling someone that they spread some or broke some community standards, won't even tell them the, the specifics. And because that person that got struck isn't big enough, they can't fight it. That's what I worry about. So I wanted to spread that information because we just got that during a live show that that got that got altered. The strike is no longer on my channel. That video is now live and monetized. But perhaps most importantly, they got to fix this period. Hopefully that's not happening to smaller channels. And if you are a guy that has a smaller channel that has been specifically struck by that and it did not violate the community standards, I would love you to reach out to me. I seriously would.